You've had a long week, but if you're looking for a chance to just sit back and relax this weekend, you might want to just grab a blanket and look up at the night sky. We've got perfect weather. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber is joining us now to explain why. What are we looking for, Ben? Mark and Mark, all you have to do is just look up, but you cannot be in the city. Okay. A lot of folks ask. I mean, yes, you can see a meteor or two, and some folks have told me already they've been seeing meteors the past couple of weeks. This is a precursor to the annual Perseid meteor shower. It actually starts in late July but it peaks on Monday. The downside is the moon. So while we do have some patchy clouds, I think moonlight is going to be a problem too. The better viewing will be over southeastern Ohio, the way things are setting up. Not so much for the upper Midwest, but with the moon very bright, it's going to be a little bit of a detriment to us. So let's uh, take a look at what the Perseids are all about. One of the best views of the year. Meteors are moving at 37 miles per hour per second, emanating from the constellation Perseus in the northeast. But you can focus your view looking straight up. Now, shooting stars are pieces of debris from a comet that burns up in our upper atmosphere, emitting streaks of light. Now, you have to get away from the city lights, of course, and uh, get into ideally deep, dark rural skies. You also have to allow about 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust while looking up. Now, Comet Swift Tuttle completes a single orbit every 133 years, but every year, Earth passes through that cometary debris, so we get a chance to see. And I also want to point out, we do have some uh, bonus sites out there. Jupiter very bright near the moon in the south, aligned with Saturn to the left. So you don't need a telescope, although that would certainly give you a cool view. So you have the planets out there. Uh, now, the thing is, tonight and tomorrow night will probably be the clearest nights. So go out and enjoy if you can get outside of the uh, the heart of the urban area. Jupiter will be the really small white one, right? And Ju right. Jupiter is, is very bright white. It's very descriptive. <laughs> yes. It, it'll also be very near. Real easy to pick that out. Yeah. And then Mars will come up late tonight. That's red, and that'll be in the south. Okay. So you got it all going for you. Where's and, the best place to see it, Ben? Well, uh, it depends on how far you want to drive. Okay. Hocking Hills, John Glenn, Astronomy right. Park, yeah. absolute best. You can get in parts of Madison County, and I've done that, or near the Franklin-Madison County line, get a, a, a decent view. But, you know, if there's any haze yeah. that's city lights, forget about it. You know, you'll be disappointed. If you're going to the wilds, you're going to stay in one of oh, those perfect. yurts, that'd be great. Absolutely. Yeah, yurts. I think you would have had a plan ahead. Yeah, you know those are called yurts. Yeah, it's yurts. like a big tent. They're yeah, fantastic. Go to the wilds, Mark. Go to the wilds. <laughs>